Drew Hilliard fighting out of the Michael Foley Academy of Martial Arts in St. John, Newfoundland. Um, is, is Coach Michael Foley, a uh, kickboxing legend in Newfoundland, could not make it here tonight uh, in Nova Scotia, so he's being cornered. Oh, that's, that's very true. And here we go. He's being cornered by uh, local kickboxing veteran and legend, uh, silver medalist at the World Championships, oh. Mr. Mickey Marshall. Victory starting aggressively. A reoccurring theme of all our bets tonight. Fast and aggressive starts. Fast and Furious has been the theme here tonight, boys. These fighters are bringing the action, Pat. With a last name like Victory, how can you lose, guys? That's it. I really don't know. My money's on Victory. Smart move. That's a smart, that's a smart statement right there. You don't need a, a nickname with a name like Connor Victory. And I believe Connor Victory has some MMA experience as well. Isn't that right, Pat? Yeah, that's right. He is a veteran of mixed martial arts competition. He's uh, fighting at a zombie proof in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia, with his coach, Kent Be Peters. Careful with that high kick. There no, no kicks to the head, guys. Well, folks, there's an interesting fact. He, he comes from a great lineage of fighters. He's, he's related to, to the, the man, the myth, the legend sitting right beside me, Pat Carroll. Absolutely. Nice. Yeah, that's right, Scott. Connor is, uh, is actually my second cousin. Uh, a good friend, a very skilled, young, up-and-coming fighter. He's got a, a world of potential, and uh, you know he's shown that off here so far. But taking a, a kick can't low here. Having any other cousins may have just been affected there, Pat. You know he took a low kick there, but uh, you know he is not phased. He's telling the referee he's good to go, ready to unleash some fury. Guys are trading kicks here. Oh, nice jab by the Southpaw Victory. All fighters tonight showing an excellent variety of kicks and punches. Uh, Victory eats a low kick from Hilliard. Kick to the body, blocked by Victory. Hilliard is the aggressive here. Oh, Connor comes back. Nice combination by Connor. But Hilliard moves off the ropes very nicely. Hilliard showing some good movement. Very good. I, I got think, guys, it's fair to say Hilliard prefers to attack, and Victory looks to counterattack here. It's a, it's a classical matchup. I would agree. Striker versus counter striker. Hilliard is bringing like the so attack to him. But nice shots landed by Connor. Kick to Hilliard. Hilliard answers back. Hilliard looking to get his opponent in the corner here. He's got him on the ropes now. Very technical matchup here so far. Oh. 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 Corner throwing. Victory is bagging it out. He's looking for the KO here. Fighting at a zombie proof. It's martial arts in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. He lives by the code that is fear no man. He's not showing fear tonight. Solid round of action. Uh, 
both fighters came out very technical, um, using their kicks to uh, keep their distance and unloading some vicious combinations. Yeah, this is a very evenly matched fight here tonight. Our girl, Lindsay, introducing the fans to round number two, getting quite the reaction. The Sackville Arena is soaking it all in tonight, Pat. Yeah, they are lit up. Sackville is known as the mecca of kickboxing in Nova Scotia. Among other fans. And it has been for a long time. But you almost need to be in this arena to feel the electricity that is seeping through the air right now. This is unreal. And here we go. Oh, victory opens up with a kick to the liver. Oh! Oh, he knocks him down. And it looks like he may have been going for a little bit of ground and pound there. And Hilliard is hurt. He is hurt. He is hurt. He is hurt to the body. Oh, did he get hit low? This could be over, folks. Oh, he is going down, and I don't know if he's getting up. But he's up. We'll see he's hanging on to the ropes here. See if he can come back from this. He comes from Newfoundland, home to many, many great fighters over the years. Yeah, that is, that's true. But it is, uh, it's home to uh, many fighters who have done some big things here on, on the East Coast. Uh, our teammate Gavin Tucker, ECC 145 featherweight champion, uh, who was en route to uh, you know start his start his jump in the UFC here. And without a doubt, Gavin's training right now as we speak, Pat. Yeah, I was just talking to him on the phone. He said he just did 500 chin-ups. <laughs> so, uh, you know, he's looking to get back in the cage here soon. Newfoundland, also home to uh, to our the guy standing in the ring right now trying to recover, Michael Foley, uh, former kickboxing champion, um, Robbie Wiseman, world medalist, heavyweight kickboxing champion. Newfoundland has produced a lot of great fighters. Without and Drew Hilliard is trying to live up to that name here tonight. Trying to make his coaches proud, Pat. Yeah, that's right. He appears to have shaken it but off. But there's a man standing in his way, and that is Connor Victory as he stalks his opponent oh! and knocks him down with another kick to the liver. Yeah, they're calling it a slip. Ladies. <laughs> No, they, I saw them pick up a toonie on the ground earlier, so we don't know what's out there. Folks, just uh, so you're aware, we don't have the best seats in the house. We don't have the best view. We're a little far back, so we're working oh, with what we got here. But these two fighters, oh! And he throws him to the mat. I'm seeing better judo in here tonight. Yeah, I don't know if the referee caught that one. Connor Victory going back to his MMA instincts. Ref not even sure what he saw there, I believe. There is a rumor circulating that Dana White is in the building. I, I, I believe I, I've seen him over in the corner there with the notepad, taking notes on Connor Victory here. I thought I saw him smoking earlier, and I thought they kicked him out, Noss. They've been warned about that many times tonight. And right now... Victory throwing heavy bombs! Oh, but Hilliard answers back. Heart of these two warriors. Big body kick. Oh! Punches landed by, by Connor Victory. Big, big, big left hook to the head. Victory looking for the finish in the second round. Action slowing here a little bit. Still oh, Hilliard answers staying back. Staying active. Oh. Another slip. 
A little slip. Yeah. Getting greasy out there. It's like a maritime winter uh, ring tonight. Ref calls for the break. That's it, the last 10 seconds. Here we go. Both looking to finish strong here. Wow. Oh. oh, big uppercut by Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Maybe a little Lands late. one right at the bell. He's got a beard on him, Scotty. There's no doubt about that. Let's see if... Uh, if Coach Mickey Marshall can uh, can give Hilliard a little bit of advice so he doesn't have to show off that chin so much here in the third round. Mickey Marshall, another veteran kickboxer. In Nova Scotia. Pat, yeah. why don't you give us some background? Yeah, Mickey Marshall, former Canadian kickboxing champions. Former 15-time Canadian champion. World silver medalist at the, the Kickboxing World Championships in Portugal uh, back in 2007. Play here by victory. But he's bringing the heat. There's no doubt about it. But Drew Hilliard is showing. He's a very game opponent, without a doubt. I haven't seen a chin like that since Pat Carroll. You know, I talked to Drew before this fight. Said, then I, as long as I have a breath in my body, I will be giving it everything I have from bell to bell. And he's he's kept his word here tonight. You gotta respect that. Never met a Newfoundlander who wasn't honest. Guys are going to war here. It's anything goes. No holds barred here at the Sackville Arena. Oh, oh another devastating low kick, kick by Connor. It's a shot coming in, but no, he does, Noss. No, he's gonna, he's gonna feel like it's right at his fingertips, like it's a shot away. But Connor, victory. Is showing he's here to win as well. And you got to think he's maybe a little bit ahead on the, on the scorecards. Referee Ian Bridgman wanting to fix the headgear of Connor Victory as he brings him back to the center of the ring. Here we go. Oh. oh. Three kicks in a row by Connor Victory. They lock up here. Referee breaks him again. Oh, we're in the final half of the third round here at Battle of the Atlantic. Nova kickboxing here in Sackville, Nova Scotia. Oh, heavy shot. This really is a Battle of the Atlantic. We've got a Nupi versus a Cape Bretoner. It doesn't get any better than this. Absolutely. Yeah, these boys will be having some beers together after this bout. I guarantee that. After a fight like this, how can you not? And we've got another equipment malfunction. Fight. Referee Ian Bridgman says, let's fight, and we're back. back up again. Connor looking for that big liver kick once again. Calls for the break. Let's see if these guys are going to throw down like they did in the earlier rounds. Oh, Victor using that jab nicely. Oh, he looks for the overhand, but Hilliard avoids it. Let's go, the final 10. Oh, 
Oh, big overhand left by Connor. Connor was thrown from his waist. They were throwing to the final bell, as we expected. This match definitely lived up to the hype. Another one that doesn't disappoint. Guys, I, I think I have to give this one to Connor Victory. I think he established the uh, his jab and his cross very effectively. We'll wait to see what the judges do. He seems to think he's won as well, Moss. Connor Victory raising his hands. Victory thinking he's got this fight, but we're going to find out here. Just waiting a few more moments for the final decision. We have the scorecard. So it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. 